Welcome back. I find myself in an unusual environment to record this particular journey through Celtic Lent snippet. So, and somewhat ironic, actually, after yesterday starting the discussion around believing and trusting in God for our protection, and today I find myself in the car park of an A&E department. <laughs> Not so much for me, but for Alison, who uh, had a little accident a little while ago, and um, just a few days ago, and it seems to be developing badly. So uh, she's just getting it checked out. Unfortunately, it's gonna be the next few hours of our lives. Hopefully, at the end of it, there will be nothing particular wrong. Um, but who knows? So we're here to check it out. Anyway, that's a little bit of my story. Let's read from Psalm 121, and we'll have a moment of quiet. I was really struck yesterday as well by the fact that we can be in the storm. And there's, there's a, a modern song, I think it's Matt Redman, that I really love. I'm in the storm, but the storm is not in me. And in moments like that, like this, actually, we really need to know what that looks like. Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills from where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. He who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time and forevermore. So let's quiet in our hearts. Let's have a minute of quiet. Connect once again with the presence of God who is right here with us all the time. Thank you, Lord, for so many beautiful songs and poems that have been captured over the years. I want to thank you especially for the one that we're about to look at today. It's been a precious part of our journey and a, a precious time of remembering who you are to us. Open our senses right now to once again experience who it is that you are to us. Amen. So today we're looking at probably the most famous of all ancient Celtic hymns, Be Thou My Vision. And there's some discussion as to when it was written. So it may have been the 8th century or maybe the 9th century, or it may have even been the 6th century. So there's some that would believe it was written right at the end of the 6th century, 598. But it doesn't really matter to me anyway when it was written. What I know is that for hundreds of years, Irish monks have chanted the, the facts and the, the truths that are deeply sewed into the words of that beautiful hymn. I love the sense where the, the hymn is trying to, to position God as the most important in our lives. Be thou my vision. Lord, I want you to be the one who's opening my eyes and guiding me. Lord, I want you to be my inheritance. I want you to be my wisdom. I want you to be my breastplate. And it's that sense again and again of a stepping into Christ that we are in Christ, but we step into him once again. Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart. 
just going to pause, I think, at that moment and just contemplate for 30 seconds or so, as we tend to be doing. Who is God to you? Have you thought about it? If, imagine if you were adding a verse to that beautiful ancient hymn. Be thou my... What words might you put there? Let's take that into a moment of silence. I think for me, in the current situation I find myself in, I say, be thou peace in my heart. Be thou my healer, my wife's healer, my surety. Be thou my comfort. <laughs> and I know you are, Lord. Let's end with just the prayer of one of the verses that will be well known to us. High King of heaven, thou heaven's bright sun, oh, grant me its joy after victory is won. Great heart of my own heart, whatever before, still be thou my vision, O ruler of all. Lord, whatever we find ourselves, in whatever circumstance we find ourselves, we lean into you right now. Be thou, would you be to us all that we need. And we know that the words of, your, of, of the Bible come right back to us, that you've given us everything we need for life and godliness. We find it in you already everything we need for life and godliness we find in you so as we pray and we sing be thou we know that the answer is already there you've already provided thank you amen cool see you tomorrow